Hey foodies, I'm here in the Indian store and I want to show you Gula Jamun. Uh, my Trini folks who don't know what Gula Jamun is and what Ras Gula is. So here you could clearly see Gula Jamun is that brown one, one made with rice and Ras Gula is the one made with chana. Chana is where you put the milk together and you let it curdle and you squeeze it and it's a spongy bowl. So clearly you see here what it is, Ras Gula that is made here you go from cheese curd round dumplings and this is your gula jamun so you see fried dumplings and sugar syrup so you see where it is now this is that big mix up you all have there my foodies in trinidad the same thing with the turmeric and the saffron so here you have the gula jamun and the ras gula and here is ras malai this also is the cheese curd flattening uh, dumplings and is with that flavored water you see i'll be using rose water the flat ones and then the rasgula is the round ones and it's also made from that chana which is that uh, curdled milk again here you see we have some more gula jamun again and they also have them in packages where you could um instant where you could make them we have lots of ghee and this puff rice you know you could use this puff rice my dear foodie to make that lovely um rice cake it's already puffed and you could just put that um syrup together and you could make that lovely rice cake and you could even include some some peanuts and stuff in it and get some lovely rice so this here is a rose water the kira water and this is what i will use to flavor up my biryanis and rice and you could use this also for all your sweets all your indian delicacies that you'll be making like your fat kurma and your ras malai and your ras gula and your gula jamun here foodies is my favorite drink mango lassi oh how i love this i'm going to i think i did a video ready for you on my page to see how to make the mango lassi so i'm going to be taking this and there's another one here what lassi is this this is a raw sugar cane lassi oh this is interesting so this is sugar cane so i'm going to try sugar cane juice i'm going to try that also I think they have all different kind of mango lassi, all different kind of juice we have in here. I'm here at the Indian store here. We have lots of stuff. I think most of the stuff is like from Kerala. And here I want to show to you some foods that they already have in the packet. This is samba. Samba, which is a lovely curry dish with that, that um, saijan, as you all know it. If we have chana over here. I bought these already and they're really nice. So if you're wondering if I have ever tried them, yes, I did. And just a nice little warm up, and it's enough for two people. Look, you have some curry rice there, dal, a patak paneer. I bought that one. I really do love that. It's really delicious. And these are some new ones. Upam. Oh, well, my Indian friend will bring those things for me to eat in the job. So let's take a look around again. Here we have some pickles. So you don't only make um, uh, make kuchila. So here is some my lime carrot, carrot pickled in olive oil, mango, and ginger lime and ginger so many different pickles that could enhance your food your vegetarian food that you're eating and this my dear foodies this is sliced gooseberries which is a pickle which is that sour cherry that we all know that when you bite it it makes those taste buds tingle here we have that that is really lovely and we have some, some lovely ginger pickle here again this looks nice maybe i should try one of that white lime pickle so this is a lime white lamb pickle it's pretty yellow and nice lovely stuff here you could come and get we have some over here other pickles there. lots and lots of different type of rice sona masuri rice this is as you can see it's a kind of sh short green type of rice here so we have the low low gi basmati rice um this is a parboil rice and i love parboil rice it's another jasmine white scented i'm not too much into the jasmine rice i like more the basmati this is jira kasala rice and as you can see this is a lovely small grain rice i think this is ideal like to make the sweet rice and all of that you have the regular parboil i love the parboil basmati rice curries like crazy as you go along raw rice this is the idli rice to make that idli butter that they will make that nice little wrong thing and the chana my dear foodies let's talk about some chana chana or chickpeas this is the green one but you see in that look at that that's the green chickpeas then you have the black you see the chana 
or chickpeas. This is the black one. And well, this is the one that you owe everybody knows, which is the regular, regular channel chickpeas. So for my foodies who I know you're on a near and far, a lot of you may not know about the black one, which I use already in the Chole Batura or the doubles, Bara and Tana. And now this is a green one here. So I love an eye opening here. You know, Jenny's work here to learn, share and create. So I'll do all the hard work and I deliver for you. Chana dal. Usually when you're currying, you will throw some of this chana dal. It's kind of puff, like it's soaked and then it's like kind of baked. You see how it is? This is how it's very soft. It's, it is not like, it is not like this dal. It is the same thing actually, but this one is like soaked and puff. So when you put this in the oil to cook and like you say to to chonke, it will just melt away sort of and give a good flavor. So this is chana dal. And this is our regular chana dal also. But this is a soft puff. Please here I have something interesting. Paisam rice. It's pretty red. And this is a red raw rice. Everything is sliding out. This is red raw rice. Yes, you can short green. This is excellent to make like the sweet rice, rice pudding, if you all know it. And this one is a broken one. You see how it's all broken up? Broken rice. Again, to make that pie some. I oh, think I have to try that and make it for you. So I do. I did show to you in many of my videos where I will use the Japanese white, the sweet short grain rice. So this one is a red one and it's sweet. So this is a great idea to use to make your sushi. Just put some red rice, sweet rice into that. Great idea there again here at Jenny's Walk. We had to learn, share and create. And of course, the sabudana, which you all know, the sabudana is sago. I did a lot of recipe with that for you, where you could have it savory and sweet. And lots and lots of curries. Look at that. You just name it. Every one of the curry that you could think of is here. You see this fresh fry? I absolutely love it. When you have to fry your fish, season up your fish with a little bit of this. It's a nice, lovely masala. It's a bit spice into it. And you will see. You will taste that. There's also the link that you could also get them on Amazon. You could use my link and you could get them. Lots of different, it's about the same thing, but just different companies that we have going on here. See another fresh fry mix over here. Masala for fish. You see, masala for chicken. Lots of great stuff here. And you all know what this is, right? Vermicelli or sawine. That is used in so much cooking. You see the sawine here with everything. This is a pack with everything already in it. You just buy this and you make it an individual pack sawine. And this is the dal, more dal. Tura dal, mansur dal. I use this dal a lot already and I show to you. This is that little orange dal which is from the lentil peas. That's correct. You see, look, this is it. The whole masur. And then this is the dal when it's all clean. Lovely idea here for you. And this is the mung bean. You know the mung I did mung bean for you. Let me show you the mung bean. Ah, oh, there we go. Right here. So this is the mung bean. The whole small one. And this is like the medium sized one. This is what the Chinese will use to make the bean sprout. And then the urad dal. You see it here? This is cracked. And then you have the whole one over there. So you could come by here and you could get all this lovely stuff over here. Different type of dal. And you all notice the field peas or red cow peas. There you go, we have all of that there. Then the dry pigeon peas. Lovely stuff. So foodies, there's also these little stuff. You know, this is a dal gotni, but you see how different this dal gotni has shape. It's a shorter, fatter handle, as you can see, from the ones that we would use. And then this is another one. I think this is like a mash, like maybe to pound things. This is another one. So they have lots of little stuff here for the house. Uh, they have like the little this is marble and they have the wood they got detour and all sort of little stuff here you could come by and get the mortar and pestle and wood and metal personal care items also right here and then as we go across we have some coriander powder in bulk chilies kashuri methi chili powder lots and lots of chili powders here in bulk like if you want to come shopping for your bulky stuff to ship away or even like you have a we have corn flour over there too big ones uri moon flour barley flour you see lots and lots of stuff here you have the restaurant you're cooking for the restaurant 
samba wheat rava that's a lovely idli over there swat is here again lots of stuff oils cat dishes all this stuff here this is some kind of thing body oil and all of that edible camphor i never know of this but i guess this is what it is edible camphor and you know this camphor where we will soak in the oil when the baby has the fever and the cold in the chest and you will put it in the oil and like this is on a smokeless camphor hmm interesting and we have all these little stuff here for like for the hindu religion any other little religion you have your deers colored deers over here the colored ones the ones with the stuff inside it and then you have the regular one traditional ones Riddles. and this is the moringa leaf you know what the moringa to make the tea that the size is really good here we go and you have the neem you know the neem neem leaf neem is also good too like for insects and stuff in the house eno wow when last you see eno they have all the different flavors of eno over here mm. what is this incense and stuff yeah. more yeah. stuff here lots of stuff here you could come by and get just to show you what we have here and we're going to go now into that fish section foodies i do hope you enjoyed that little segment there in that indian supermarket and lovely green grocery there lots of things in there to enjoy and um, i hope it did clear up that rascula gula jamun fat kurma and ras malai for a lot of you who don't know the difference and what it is remember it's also about culture and what part of the world are you joining in from so don't forget to like and share invite your friends to join into jenny's walk subscribe to my youtube channel from my kitchen to your kitchen happy cooking